Hello, thank you so much for watching this video and what I'm going to be doing today is reviewing the MMA7361 accelerometer. Now you probably know what an accelerometer is but if you don't it measures acceleration from where it's mounted. Now this one is great, it measures it on all three axes, X, Y and Z as I've put here. I got it from icstation.com, they gave it me for free as long as I did a little review of it which I'm going to do now. But also don't forget I'm going to do a project on it within the next week probably. But this is just a quick review, part one of my acceleration, accelerometer a few tutorials that I'll do. Now I'll just talk about what it can do first and some of the features. It's very very low cost, robust design, uh, it's got a zero G detect for free fall detection, high sensitivity, it's simple to use, sleep mode, which I'll, I'll go into detail about some of these later on, analog output for each axis and 5 volt operation at 1MA current. Um, now, it can measure static of gravity or dynamic acceleration in all three axes. You can use it in many different things, which I'll talk about in a minute, but technically it's a low power, low profile, capacitive micro-machined accelerometer which features signal conditioning, a one-pole low-pass filter, temperature compensation, self-test, zero-g detect, which allows linear free, detects linear free for all, um, and g-select, which allows for the selection between two sensitivities, also zero-g offset and sensitivity off factory set, and that means we require no external devices. Now, what I also love, what I mentioned earlier, is the sleep mode that this has got. Now if you're using like a handheld device that uses a battery, you might not want it um, draining away at all your battery for ages. Now what this will do is it will just go to sleep and then you can, well when it's on low, and then you can put it on high again and it will just kick in again and start working. So it means it's not constantly draining away at your power supply, which is good. Some of the things that you could use it for, I'll just put it back into your view. Some of the things that you can use it for, I'll just mention quickly now. You could use it for, sorry, it's a bit. You could use it for 3D gaming, so tilt and motion sensing, or an event recorder. You could use it for like a free fall detection, anti theft on like a laptop or a media player or something. You could use it on a cell phone, I suppose, for image stability, text scroll, motion dialing, e compass, uh, navigation and dead reckoning, e compass tilt compensation. Uh, robotics, so for like motion sensing, loads of different things, and there's loads of good resources out there on the web for accelerometers and the Arduino. Loads and loads and loads. But yeah, you can just use it with an Arduino. And very quickly now, I'm just going to talk about each of the individual pins that are on this. I'll bring it a bit closer to the camera so that you can see. Actually, no, I'll just uh, do this. Okay, right. So you've got the um, three pins here, X, Y and Z. What the X, Y and Z do, are they reach just the analog signal out along the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis. Then below that, the fourth one down on the left, you've got the sleep and this will just put the chip to sleep when pulled low to consume less power and it will resume operation when pulled high. Then you've got zero G detect and this will go high when zero G is detected on all three axes, which is axis, used to detect free form. Then at the top of here you've got 5 volt in. Now it actually runs on 3.3 volts but what it'll do is it's got a built in regulator and it'll bring it down to 3.3 volts. Then you've got ground uh, and 3.3 volts below that. The 3.3 it doesn't go through the regulator uh, because it, if you've got a 3.3 volt regulated bus you won't need to use the regulator. And then below that you've got ground, it just needs to be connected to ground. Then you've got two pins, the last one's on the right, down here. You've got sense select. So it's used to select between two sensitivities. If it's low, it's in 1.5G mode. If it's in high, it's in 6G mode. And then you've got sense test. And the sense test is, well, it's got a built-in sense test. And what this does is it verifies both the mechanical and electrical bits inside the chip just to see if they're functioning properly. To use it all you have to do is uh, hold it upside down to put a force of minus 1g on the z-axis. 
And then the self-test then applies an electrostatic force which deflects the z-axis, which would then read plus 1g. And it's also used for calibration. Right, I am going to do a project with this. I'm going to do a few projects probably involving my Arduino robot, which I will just zoom out now and show you. Now I did do a series on this. I did do a series on this uh, chassis that I bought off Amazon and the uh, robot uh, motor shield and the Arduino mega board. And I'm going to add some videos to it involving this. Now, I haven't actually done any of the code or any wiring or any projects with this today. However, in the next week or so, I will have uploaded one with a project involving it so you can see how it works. So if you want to see how it works and stuff, just um, come back to my channel in about a week. Hopefully it'll be up. Anyway, that is all I'm going to do today. I'm sorry it's been a bit short. And check out for the next video on this accelerometer that will be coming out soon and if you want to get it yourself go to icstation.com and just search for mma 7361 accelerometer and it should come up thanks for watching and i'll see you next time